union and the owners. Uh, they're in, in negotiations now. I think that the, uh, the union is going to be sympathetic and will help us. Uh, we've got to stop drugs and baseball. We just flat have to do it. But if the commissioner expected a quick solution from the players, he didn't get it. Wednesday, Donald Fair, the director of the Players Association. If you're asking me, has the players' opinion since last summer changed markedly that they're now willing to accept something we didn't think it was appropriate without further demonstration of need, the answer is no. But reaction among the players was mixed. I think what we're doing now, by not being tested, I think we're protecting the minority of the players who do it instead of protecting the majority of players who don't do it. The system we have now is working fine, and uh, we do have a program in baseball. One thing to note here, as Mr. Ubroth said, a new contract is currently being negotiated between the Players Association and Major League Baseball, and Mr. Fair might well use mandatory testing as a bargaining chip in the negotiations. On the commissioner's side, to force the plan is a four-month-old grand jury investigation in Pittsburgh. It is an investigation that has fueled the rumor mill around Major League Baseball. Here's reporter Dee Thompson from station WPXI in Pittsburgh. The probe is centered in Pittsburgh because drug traffickers had easy access to the players and clubhouse at Three Rivers Stadium. So much access that the Pirates' home is labeled Baseball's Secret Drug Store. Close to 20 players testified before a grand jury here on who supplied the players' expensive cocaine habits. Our sources say the indictments will be handed down to the sellers. Many of the players who testified were granted immunity from prosecution. They included ex-pirate shortstop Dale Barra, pitcher Rod Scurry, who admitted a year ago he had a cocaine habit and underwent treatment. Pitcher Al Holland, Tim Raines of the Montreal Expos, Enos Cabell of Houston, Jeff Leonard of the Giants, Lonnie Smith of the Cardinals, and Keith Hernandez of the Mets. Pittsburgh attorney Sam Rich represented many of those who testified. And in my opinion, it is unlikely that any player will be a target of prosecution unless perjury was committed before the grand jury. The Pirates limited access to the clubhouse at the beginning of the 1984 season. Did manager Chuck Tanner have any knowledge of drug traffic in his clubhouse? To my knowledge, none whatsoever. I never knew. And to this day, I don't know. Uh, if I did or did know, I sure would stop it. The Pirates are currently in last place in the National League East with a worse record in baseball. Madlock would like to see the indictment soon so his team can go back to concentrating on baseball. Those indictments could come as early as next week. From Pittsburgh.